I mean, everybody wants me to respond to this Gabriel Montoya thing. Um, I mean, it's no big surprise to me. I mean, I've been telling you for years. The guy is just an elitist. He believes he's the greatest thing on earth. He believes that what he says really matters and holds weight. And I told you for the giddy up when he starts switching and changing his shirt and became this almost standard for PED testing. I'm like, look, I remember you before you got on this train. <laughs> and all of a sudden, now you're doing a 180 and PED testing. We need it now. And then behind the scenes, for those who don't know, it's allegedly there's a tape of Gabriel Montoya going around, you know, boasting on a conversation about how he was a testing consultant for the Pascal Lucien Boutte bout in Canada. That a promoter hired him to be the consultant. Now, this is, I haven't heard the tape. Nobody sent me the tape. Everybody's been sending me the interviews and the articles and whatever they have with this uh, clown Montoya. And and basically, he had to tell you, threatening him to come forward and all this stuff. It's for not. And basically, he came forward in you know, his interview or whatever. And it's really nothing to talk about. He was a consultant to a promoter about a testing facility. The only weird reason that this would hold any weight, if there's people that are Gabriel Montoya fans, if there were any fans of Gabriel Montoya, this this would be damaging news for you. Because the guy who you hold with so much credibility is now sitting over here really commenting about his own work. He's anonymously commenting and talking and praising himself which would go right along with his character so there you have it you know when he's talking about other people's standards of testing is not up to par but he's pushing his agenda towards someone else you know it's a conflict of interest if you're looking at it from another party's perspective it's like where's the integrity as a journalist, you know, other journalists will look at him and throw up. But I don't know any journalists that respect him anyway. So that's what I'm saying. To me, this is this is not a big deal. You know, and and his thing is like as in terms of ethics, if I was a paid consultant, then that would be different, but no one's paid me. So basically, he was just doing this for free. But bragging as if I'm the consultant of this testing. And all they did was ask him some questions about protocol or whatever from what I've heard. But he didn't receive any money. So, in my perspective of looking at it from my thing is, Gabriel Mentoria, you a fool. <laughs> you did all that and got all this. This is supposed to give you some press. I guess you like this kind of attention, but... You didn't even get paid? Oh my god. Dude, wake up. I'm I'll get paid on whatever I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need my money. <laughs>